Man, uh, it was just great to play football um, and to have our fans here. I saw something that I hadn't seen um, maybe in my whole time here, where as soon as they opened the gates, <laughs> our, our student section, they were racing to get their seats. That, that was, uh, yeah, that was a, uh, a moment that um, I'm not going to forget. It was just gratifying, and we, we continued to play, we continued to improve, and it got cleaner and better as it went. And um, yeah, I think there's a lot to build off and certainly a lot to work on, but um, I liked the start um, of our season, and I liked what I saw in terms of potential diversity, number of players contributing um, with room to grow. Coach, uh, last time this team shut out an opponent, it was in 2018, 28 to nothing in the Belt Bowl, mm. we all remember. But to shut out this team, even though FCS opponent, we take all those things into consideration, can you assess your defensive execution? How clean was it? What were you pleased with? J just that. We did a really nice job um, with um, our perimeters and our depth. And so everything was inside and in front, and we tackled well um, for an opening game. We didn't tackle much in fall camp and working to keep our depth um, as healthy as possible for a long season. And, um, and so that was a little bit of an unknown, except we had experienced players. So I was hopeful we would see that. And um, it looked like it was the right call based on what I just saw today. Last two things, Coach. Offensively, a little bit of a slower start. How do you, is it too early to define the team's identity? There wasn't a lot of run game offensively, but how do you see it? No, um, so yeah, I would say um, um, a little bit jittery, a little bit just um, forced and just not quite as confident and rhythm rhythmic. And the game just seemed a little fast as we started. Um, we have some new players in increased roles. And so with Rashawn Henry and Dontavian Wicks um, and even Jelani who went out, right? So there's increased roles for new players. And, and uh, I think that showed as well. And then players that have played a lot like Wayne um, and Billy, um, but even Brennan, right? Things were a little bit, just not quite as clean to start. And so the supporting cast will have to continue to grow and, and um, develop into their roles that are now not backup roles or supplemental roles, but kind of primary roles. And then I think as the game went, our protection and our blocking also improved um, and started, um, you know, I would say adequate but not dominant and so just I just thought it got better as we played. Finally 545 yards of offense can you speak specifically it seemed like Brennan found a passing rhythm in that second half what did you see? Yeah I, I think so and just identif identification of coverages and confidence in the pocket and just it just took a little time and um, I think uh, one of the catalyst plays was uh, Keaton's play but I saw really nice things from Ira. I saw nice things from Jacob Rodriguez. I like Devin Darrington, the way he ran the ball, Ronnie Walker. So there, there's appearing to be the makings of a, a pretty diverse um, offense with a lot of different opportunities. Um, again, with room to grow on the execution. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll have our first question from Jeff White then uh, Mike Barber. I know you can't read too much into this game, but you put a lot of emphasis in in the offseason, improving the secondary and the play back there. They didn't take a lot of deep shots tonight, but what do you think of your secondary? Really, really good start. Um, and yeah, I think I can read more into it than maybe what um, what's being presented. I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into fall camp and a lot of work preparing for an opponent and a lot of execution just to play a football game. And so um, I saw enough to be encouraged and, and um, Again, I thought our leverage and our tackling was strong. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I thought it was a really nice start for our secondary. You also put a, a ton of emphasis in the offseason on the traditional run game. Mm. You guys didn't give the ball to a running back to your third drive um, by design? Or what yeah, was the so um, what was going on is uh, making sure that Brennan had every repetition he could and throwing and catching and protecting and throwing and catching and protecting and throwing and catching and protecting. And um, we knew that there would be times through the entire game to kind of build into that, but our, that wasn't our first emphasis today. And again, just because I target something to say, yeah, um, we need more of that. Different games, different circumstances, and especially an opener, that really wasn't the focus in terms of what we were trying to accomplish. So. 
Um, but as you saw the game gone up, go on, you saw more capability there, and and yeah, so I, I was satisfied with what we did. And along those lines, if I could just follow up, it, you put a lot of different formations, looks, players, and spots. In terms of your next opponent, was that in the mind to kind of give them a lot to work on? Not really. That's just um, how we play offensive football. And when we start distributing the ball even more diversely than we did, with more confidence, more production, yeah, hopefully that spreads people pretty thin. And, and how do you identify what personnel groups and how do you know what's coming? And so I think there's just a lot of variety, but that's really going to be our approach. Uh, Bennett and Brad, uh, big punt return early and, and a block to take as well. What are your thoughts? Kind of yeah, and a, and a kickoff return for a touchdown that gets called back. So yeah, a nice start. And then I think that um, Finn, a few of his punts, especially one of the early ones, man, that, that thing was up there forever. So solid start for our special teams. And again, experience is certainly part of it. And Justin with his field goals and PATs. And, and so, yeah, I, I think it was a good start with our special teams. Coach, you were interested without LaBelle what the receiving core would look like. You had a couple of shots over the top. Starling, a kid that uh, you guys offered late. His whole life changed in like 37 seconds in that weekend. What did you think of his game tonight, and where, what about his progression to this point? Yeah, it's coming, and we're going to need him. Um, so he has really good speed, and he's aggressive, and he's tough, and he can block, um, and he's a deep threat. And so uh, we just happened to catch um, uh, our opponent in, in a rolled coverage where it was kind of man backside and half frontside, and there wasn't an extra safety, so he crossed face, and, and Brennan saw him. And, so, um, yeah, we'd love to see more of that. And so as Rashawn grows, as Dontavian grows, as Jelani grows, as Dameek grows, we already know about Billy, then that becomes uh, pretty formidable. Mike, I apologize for the big picture nature of this one, but um, your first game here, uh, you lose at home to an FCS team, you chastise the sideline for a lack of energy. Um, we saw the whole team dancing at the start of the fourth quarter. You're up big on an FCS team. You just quickly kind of reflect on, on how far you've come uh, this opener versus your very first one? Hmm. Yeah, uh, that first one hurt. Um, and I, I remember so clearly when that game was over, uh, knowing that I hadn't assessed um, and prepared our team to, to really take over our own stadium, which has been a huge focus recently. And 17 and two and 12 and one over the past short term, that was intentional. We moved our entire football operation into Scott Stadium that spring after I saw that game. And um, that's the only uh, FCS team I think I've ever uh, um, coached against and lost in my career. And But man, what a lasting impression. And so we really don't acknowledge FCS, FBS, F, it just is, it's football. And that message was sent to our team pretty clearly then and it looks like it's still holding. Um, we, we get a chance to play this game for this institution and in front of fans that are here to support us. So, um, yeah, I think we're making progress there. Uh, Damon, then Joe, then Jeff. You talked about the way the offense kind of got things rolling after the slow start. Was that a product of maybe doing things differently, or was it just a matter of the execution kicking in? Mm, I think both. I think just getting a clearer idea what of our what our opponent was doing, right, and identifying that. And then just playing, playing, playing um, in a game situation. And even though we had experience and have experience, um, yeah, it still looked just a little off. And then um, the last drive that Brennan was in, um, that was a glimpse to me of um, what, um, what I'm hopeful to see more of it. The game looked slower. We looked just tempo driven and so decisive and where it was going and just um, so. And that was, uh, we talked about possibly, man, is this one more drive or not with Brennan? Um, um, glad we did um, because it's a long season. Was there risk involved? Certainly. Um, but we're, we're looking to grow and build and become. And, and uh, yeah, I, I really thought that that was worthwhile after just watching it. Hey, Coach. Um, you had four guys listed as quarterback um, play tonight. Is that all? How do you see that <laughs> dynamic shaking out this season? Yeah, it's it's going to be a lot like tonight. Um, you'll see Ira, and you'll see Brennan, and you'll see Jay Woolfolk, and you'll see Jacob Rodriguez. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see them all. And Keaton out doing his thing. Uh, Jeff, Marky, you mentioned Jelani. I don't think he was in the game a whole lot late. Like what happened? Not sure. Um, I was just told he was out, and so I don't know what, what he was out for. 
I haven't I haven't gotten any injury report yet. David, Rob, you mentioned you don't acknowledge FCS, FBS, but yet late it looked like numbers and depth took its toll. Yeah, I, I think so, and I think conditioning took its toll as well, and and so um, I don't know what the possession time was or the yardage, but it just it just seemed like um, there was some fatigue that was setting in, and and that would make sense by roster depth for sure.